scientists who won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1903 proposed that increases in carbon dioxide would warm the atmosphere. And over those hundreds of years, we've learned more and more and more on technologies and ways of measuring and observing the Earth, and the climate has increased you know, many fold. We have much better computers. And we have found to a very, very large degree of certainty that we know the globe is warming. We know that the emissions that we put into the atmosphere are warming the Earth. And we know almost certainly that a major part of the warming over the last 20 or 30 years has been due to those emissions that we put into the atmosphere. There is a slight bit of uncertainty. We don't know for 100%. But are we going to allow that small amount of uncertainty to keep us from acting on the large level of pro probability that this is going to occur? Think about the level of certainty that you require in your everyday lives to make decisions about taking out life insurance about uh, putting on your seatbelt. Let me give you an example. Imagine you were uh, helping to design an airplane that your children were going to be flying 20 years from now. And the design was such that the engineers told you, when your kids get onto that airplane, there's a 95% chance they'll la land safely. But there's a 5% chance they'll crash and die. Would that be good enough for you? Would you say, go ahead and, and do that airplane? And that's the kind of decision that we have to make right now. We don't know for certain, nothing in this world is for certain, but we are very, very sure that the consequences could be quite dire. Shouldn't we get started now on trying to forego those consequences? Start slowly, do the obvious things like efficiency, and as the science strengthens and as we see this occurring, we can continue to ratchet down on the emissions. And if, say, five or ten years from now, it turns out that it's not a problem, no harm, no foul. All we did was save money by becoming more efficient and developing these technologies.